by Sankops Rivastava at th. Kingslayer Kohli regained his lost form against the Aussies in the second match of the Fivioti series. Former Australian bowler Stuart Clark has slammed the pair of Matthew Wade and Marcus Stoinis for engaging in war forwards with Indian captain Virat Kohli. The Australian duo questioned Kohli when the batsman took a run after Wade seemingly failed to collect a Stoinis delivery and head is held down, apparently in pain. He misfielded one. Whether the Indian batsman knew he was injured, or not was probably a secondary question, Clark argued in favor of the Indian skipper. The wicketkeeper's comments were heard on the stump, Mick, I might have a cry like you. I might go to the dressing rooms and have a good cry like you. Everyone has to feel sorry for you. The 41-year-old opined that one run should not be as big an issue as it was made, adding that Kohli steps as his game when the opposition sledges him. It's one run. Is this the biggest issue this team has got? If I'm Matthew Wade, and I'm Marcus Stoinis, and full credit to him for standing up for Matthew Wade, I'd be worrying about my own cricket, rather than all this other stuff. This is piddly CRP, he added. I wouldn't be saying too much to Virat Kohli. He seems to want to fight with everyone, and he seems to play ten times better when he does fight with people. In case you didn't know, Kohli regained his lost form against the Aussies in the second match of the Fivioti series and slammed a well-structured 92 to help India post a competitive total of 252. Bhuvanshwar Kumar and the wrist spinners called deep and shuttle then stopped the visitors in their tracks as India took a 20 lead. The heart of the matter both the bowler and his gloveman didn't look happy the incident in question here took place in the 33rd over of the first innings. As Stoina steamed into bowl the fourth delivery of the over, Jad have failed to connect and the ball apparently struck weight on his wrist. The wicketkeeper then failed to realize that the ball is still in play as the batsman took the run. Both the bowler and his gloveman didn't look happy with it and launched a series of comments aimed at the Indian captain between the overs, some of which were caught by the stump, Mick. What's next? With a 20 lead in the series, the India team will be looking to seal the deal in the next match at Inder. Australia, on the other hand, would want to shake off the humiliation of the first two matches and start afresh. Authors take Clark absolutely slammed his compatriots for their comments on Coley, and rightly so as the umpire had termed the ball dead, and the Indian pair was clever enough to make full use of it. As far as Coley is concerned, we all know how sledging the Delhi turns out for his opponents.